We ended up launching our company in the summer of 2012 and we finally got a couple theaters to sign on. Pretty much six months in after launching at the end of 2012, we had maybe about 60, 70 theaters. And so Kevin looked back on those and he realized, you know what, cold calling just doesn't work, emailing doesn't work. What really works is getting that FaceTime because most of our theaters that have come in have come in through some sort of face-to-face -face interaction. And so he proposed that instead of just doing calls and what we were doing before and emails, and instead of flying to different events here and there, he would trade his Acura in for a minivan and he would drive around the country and they would stay at their fraternity brothers' homes across the country. And so that was their proposal. And we were just gonna drive around the minivan, hit up theaters, go to different events and stay in these fraternities along the way. And so my other co-founder, Zach, and I were like, oh, that's really weird, man. Are you sure about that? Because, you know, how much is it going to cost? So he, he ran all these numbers and he proposed and we said, okay, let's try this. So Kevin and Evan go out and uh, as, as they start to go out, they realize, you know what? Why don't we just sleep in the back of the minivan? Because it's cheaper and, you know, that way we can actually be more flexible as we're going. And we'll just shower and work out at 24 Hour Fitness the next morning and then just go on our day. And so they started doing this and it just became what they did. So they ended up doing that for two months straight or three months straight, the first one. And it was a really successful trip. Theater owners respected it. Uh, there's just an insane amount of stories that came out of that trip, as you can imagine. And from there, the man van concept was born. I think since then, we've done about four or five different man van trips. The man van pretty much embodies our culture here at DealFlix. So uh, when people think of DealFlix, they think man van. Uh, they think this kind of hustler mentality, which is really what we're about because that's really what is necessary to break into the industry. Um, the industry, as you can imagine, the theater industry, the entertainment industry is a tough industry to get into if you're an outsider. Uh, I've never really had experience in entertainment before DealFlix, neither has my co-founder Kevin. And so we had to pretty much break in. And in order to break into an industry like this, you have to be a go-getter and willing to try to put yourself out there and hustle essentially. And so the man van really embodies that. Um, DealFlix also as a company, we're you know, a little bit on the thrifty side in terms of spending. So our investors are always happy about that because they, they see how much we spend and they're like, wow, how did you guys get by with that little, with that big of a team? So definitely being thrifty and uh, kind of cutting quarters when we can uh, on certain expenses and body is what we do and uh, just being willing to do whatever it takes. You know, that's a really big part of our, our culture here at DealFlix as well. So the man van really embodies all that. So yeah, if someone wants to think DealFlix, do you want to work at DealFlix? You're not necessarily living in a van anymore, but <laughs> that culture, that concept still permeates throughout our company.